Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Jacques from Maclu Linux. I haven't made a video for quite a while. Um, in fact, uh, I haven't been much on the chat over the last few weeks. I haven't been much active in the forum in the last few weeks and the reason for that is mainly because I have moved to China. You heard it right, I am in China now. And there was quite a lot of uh, issues with settling in and moving from hotel to hotel and then finally my apartment. It uh, doesn't mean I've done no work on Makulu Linux. In fact, uh, I've been building on a new edition in the background. I just haven't had much time to build and socialize and still, you know, manage the move. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, though, um, the old version of Aero, uh, which was a once-off fun build is not quite compatible with all of the new changes the new kernel changes the new cinnamon 2.6 update and everything else that went along with it now um it was a fun build intended for a once only kind of thing you know one once off build i never really uh, intended to maintain the build long term but I've had such a lot of uh, positive feedback about the build and such positive response that I've decided to turn it into a proper mainstream build. So it is a build that I will maintain long term. However, that will actually be from the new 10 series and not the 9 series. So if you're running a 9 series build, that was a fun build. I'm sorry for that. Uh, you will need to reinstall to get the new long-term support build. It is based on uh, Cinnamon 2.6. It's running on Debian testing, uh, which means you will get core updates forever. And it is running really, really well. There's quite a few new things in there. Uh, I've had to do a lot of adapting to get it to work on version 2.6 properly and uh, today I'm going to be showing you the result, at least uh, some of the features. Now, uh, this version obviously as I said runs on Cinnamon 2.6. Off the bat you will notice there is new wallpapers because you'll see this wallpaper wasn't in the previous build. You'll also notice that some of the icons look different. And if I actually open up, you will notice that the whole of the theme actually really looks different. The window border is pretty much the same window border uh, I had before. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, just people messaging me non-stop. Um, as I said, uh, the moment you open the file browser, you will notice that um, the theme has pretty much been completely upgraded. Um, you still have the same window borders, the same sort of arrow window borders, which is what gave this edition its name, was the window borders, because, you know, that really stands out. The GTK theme is more of a Windows 8 kind of uh, blend, so that's a more of a Windows 8 sort of a flat blue white sort of theme. Very, very nice, very sleek, gives it that smoother look. Whereas the Aero GTK theme was more bubbly, this one is much more flatter, more smoother, um, you know, just like creamy smooth kind of thing. And then, of course, thirdly, the icons uh, used here is, are the Vista icons. So it's the Vista icon set. So you've got a mixture of the um, Aero you got the Aero shell and the Aero window borders. You've got the Windows 8, Windows 8 GTK theme, and you've got the Vista icons. So you really have a blend of three different versions of Windows rolled into one year, at least with the themes. The themes have also had quite an upgrade. That's probably where you're going to notice most of the changes is on the themes. You still have the 31 border themes as before. I think it's 31. You now have additional icon sets. You've got the Windows 8, where you previously only had the normal Windows, sort of Windows 7 kind of icons. You, those are the default ones, the ones that you had before, and if you prefer them, you can switch to them. You now have a, a Windows 8 icon set, and as you can see, 
they look very much like the Windows 8 icons, so they pretty cool, pretty awesome. You also have a um, the Vista ones, the Windows Vista icon sets, obviously, that you saw earlier. And you also have a blue XP icon set. So there you've got the blue XP icons as well. So that's pretty awesome. You of course have the Luna and the Classic, which were in the previous versions as well. There's the Classic and there's the, the Luna. So basically in a nutshell, you've got three new icon themes. You've got the Vista icon themes, you've got the um, Windows 8 icon set, and you have the blue XP icon set. So you've got a really, really nice selection of icons here. Pretty much everything your heart could desire. Either Windows Vista look, the Windows 7 look, the Windows 8 look, the Windows XP look, the 95, classic 95 look, and the modified Luna look. So there you pretty much cover your basic versions of Windows all in just one go, just by a click of a button. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, the controls, you've got the, there was the default arrow, as you can see it looks very bubbly, very round theme uh, and then of course the new one which is the Windows 8 that's a much smoother look um, so yeah you've, you've still got the same old uh, Luna Aero Smooth, Aero Plain, XP, Aero Grey, Aero Blue and then yeah so you've got the same uh, control themes there plus the new Windows 8 theme the sleek looking one and uh, desktop shell themes, you've got the Windows 8, you've got the blue theme, you've got the aero theme, you've got the grey, the dark, the Windows XP, the classic which is new, the blue which is new. Okay, so um, yeah, so there's quite a lot of changes with themes. And I'll actually show you how you can mix this up. I mean, if you want the, the old classic look, the really old classic, you can choose the classic window borders, you can choose the classic icons, you can choose the... I think it's that one, the, the more Windows XP slash classic GTK theme. And you can choose the classic shell theme. And if you actually have a look here now, you'll see that you've got a really, really classic look here. I mean, this is the old, old Windows, you know. So you've got the classic look there, you've got the classic icons, the classic feel, the classic window borders, the classic GTK theme, pretty much everything classic. You can do the same with uh, Windows XP. You can choose the Luna Blue with XP icons, the XP theme, and the XP shell, and there we go. You pretty much have a sort of a Windows XP similar kind of look, as is visible. Uh, see how awesome that is. And then, of course, you can change it to Vista, like put a, a Vista theme there, choose the Vista or the seven windows seven icons or whatever and of course here you can choose maybe a aeroplane plane theme that's almost like the kind of vista theme and of course here you could choose like a dark or cinnamon theme or maybe the gray theme or something to match the window borders and there you have a sort of a, almost like a vista kind of look so you can really really change these up uh, as you see fit um, you have a nice nice variety now of you know things to choose from so I'm very very happy with this build so far it is still currently in beta but it is running really nice really well really smooth looking well you've got a couple of new wallpapers and one of the things you'll notice is one of the flaws we had in the previous addition was that the control boxes were always you know they weren't always visible very difficult to see where they now very nice very easy to spot you got a whole bunch of new new see uh, uh, not well not a whole bunch but you got quite a, quite a few extra wallpapers here that are new so uh, I don't want to spoil all that for the users but in a nutshell um, you've got a new arrow look You've got an updated Cinnamon version 2.6.7. You're running on a newer kernel. Um, I mean, it, it's running really flawless out of the box. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show off a couple of the changes. You know, it is still in beta, so things may still change. But uh, for the most part, it is 
going really well with this build and it is a really nice new look so I'm pretty sure the users will enjoy this so this is Jacques from Clue Linux I didn't want to make this a long video I am very limited on time so I thought I'd just show off mostly theming options since that's the first thing you'll probably notice on this build um, it should be live in the next week or two give or take I don't know uh, it depends how much time I have to finish it but it is coming your way very very soon and uh, yeah you should keep an eye out for that I will chat to you guys soon and uh, yeah cheers from China